Welcome to this video where I am going to show you how to create a title sequence for your Shiplake Muse project. Now if you're really getting into Serif Movie Plus you can actually do a lot of the graphic work yourself uh, but as a shortcut I'm going to show you how we can find some pre-made videos on YouTube that have Creative Commons licensing so you can use them and how we can then import those into Movie Plus and you can add your own text over it. So, to start with, we're going to need to go to YouTube. And if you go to my channel on YouTube, you'll find that I've put together a playlist called Shiplake News Intros. And it contains a selection of different news intros that I found online through YouTube, which you have the rights to use. If you wanted to find your own, then this is where you can go looking. So if you just search something like TV News Intro, and crucially now, go to Filter and change your filter options to Creative Commons. And you will then get a load of uh, videos that you are allowed to use, provided that you give some kind of uh, credit. So normally you just have to say who made it and put a link to the video um, at the end of the video that you yourself have used. So anyway, I've done the hard work for you and put this together in a playlist. So you can just have a look through. Um, let's just watch one and see what they're like. So when you've decided on the one that you want to use, you just need to copy the link to the video. So click on the link in the URL bar and go copy. And then you're going to go to onlinevideoconverter.com and you're going to convert a video link or URL. So click on that, paste the link to YouTube that you've just copied and make sure you change the format to MP4. Press start and it will start preparing uh, that video for download. Okay, once your video is ready for downloading, you can click on the blue download button and it should have downloaded your video. So that video will now be in your downloads folder. So we're going to need to go back into Movie Plus and we're going to go import media, import, and you need to find your downloads folder and it should be there. So whatever it was called is the file name. You're going to open that and it goes into your media panel and you can drag and drop it onto your timeline and we can play it to check it works. Okay, so that's worked quite well. We're gonna make a few tweaks and changes to it. So at the end, it's got this uh, news your city. And we've got a few options. We could put ship lake over the top of that. And the new, the your city thing, we can kind of just ignore it, just put up with it. Um, so I think probably one of the best options is that we could let the video play to that. And then as it brings in that screen, we could fly the word ship lake in. Ship Lake would come in here. So to do that, we're gonna to need to add some text. So here's the overlay track. This is where we can add stuff that's gonna appear over the video. And we're gonna click on insert text, and we're gonna add a text clip. And that text clip by default just says my title. Uh, so we wanna change that. So let's double click on that and change that to Ship Lake. And we can click and drag and move it around so that it appears in different places on the screen. Now, obviously, that doesn't look brilliant uh, because it's the wrong font. So let's click on it, double click on it, and let's change the font. So um, that should be under Format here. I'm in my Properties uh, panel now. And I'm going to change from Times New Roman to something closer to that. So that's probably a bit like Arial or Arial Black maybe. Mm. And this is where you could spend a long time choosing. So I'm just gonna choose Arial and make it bold for now because I don't really have time to change it. You could use one of the built-in styles as well. Click on these and it will give you a different style. If you want to change uh, the color, you can just click on the fill and choose different colors. We can make it yellow, for example. And then that's kind of in there. Now, as things stand, that text will appear uh, exactly where you see the text clip 
in your timeline. So if I just play from here and see what happens. So it looks a bit weird, it just popping up. Uh, so we've got some options. We could make it a uh, fade in, or we could make it fly in. So let's see how those two different options could work. If we wanted to make it fade in, we just need to go in the timeline to the place where we would first want it to start appearing. So maybe just after news appears, we might put it in there. So I'm just going to click and drag it to there. And I'm going to grab that little handle there, and I'm going to use that as a fade. So let's see how this looks. Okay, that's, that, that looks pretty good. It's much better than just appearing. Um, but the other trick, like I suggested, was having it fly into place. So let's try that. I'm going to get rid of that crossfade. And for this to work, we need to um, use something called keyframes. And keyframes are things that you can put in Movie Plus to tell it how something on the screen should change over time. So. We actually want this to start completely off the side of the screen. So I'm just going to drag it over to the outside. And now I need to have it fade in. So I'm going to move the timeline a bit to where I, where I want it to have faded in by. And so let's say we want to make it by, that's only, yeah, a, a small amount of a second it should have moved in by then. Now we need to go uh, to transform here in our adjustments and I'm going to say show keyframes and I'm going to add keyframe. So where this started here we've now got these little balls and these are our keyframes. This keyframe says at the very beginning at that point in time it's going to be over here. On this keyframe I'm going to drag this in I want it to be here. And Movie Plus will do the animation between the two for us. So let's see how that works. And it just flies in from the side. And I think that's a pretty nice effect. All we need to do now is make sure that it fades out at the same time as the rest of the video. So we're just going to shorten it so that it's the same length as the rest of the video. And we're going to add a little crossfade out at the end. And we're going to do that for both that and the uh, main title graphics. So now let's see what our title graphics look like right from the beginning. So if that's ready to go and you finish that intro, what we need to do is export it so that it can be imported into your main project. So we're just going to go to export, file, going to choose mp4 video, press next, and we're going to make sure it's in the same format that we're using for everything else, which is probably the 720p, so you should go PAL, general, widescreen, general, 720p, press finish, and we've got to give it a name. So let's call this uh, intro graphics, press save, and that will start exporting, and we'll have a file then that we can drop into our video project. Um, and that will be the introduction to the whole news program.